All right, so half guard switch passing. We can do it with my knee on the inside, like he can be triangle, and I can, I can try and walk his hips over this way, but it's a little bit more difficult, okay? So I'd rather have my knee through. Let's talk about when we sit on his thigh. He can bump me, can't, can't forget that. So um, I don't wanna be hesitant when I sit on it. If I do sit on it, I can sit hard and heavy on it. Okay, now try and bump me. I'll have a little bit of movement, but I'll sit real heavy on his thigh. I'm actually sitting on the down slope side of his thigh. You get, you get what I'm saying? I don't know, back side of his thigh. I'm sitting over it almost. Okay, not on the front side of it. Don't sit on the front side, bump me. See how I move? Now watch how I sit on the down slope side. Boom, now bump me. See how I'm a lot heavier? For leg locks, I can literally hook. And this leg's gonna come to me. So that's one thing I can do, okay? Switch all the way back around. So Levi has good fundamentals in half guard, and he's never gonna want his chest to be away from my knee because I can easily make the switch to come towards three quarter mount, okay? Quarter guard on his side, whatever. So his abs should be constantly maintaining contact with my knee. If my weight goes into him, he'll do the scoop and just I'll go right over, you know? So I also don't want to be on double knees like this because he can collect both my legs with both of his legs or both of his arms. You know, it's too easy to collect both and then I'm, I'm going to be on my hips. So it's here and sitting back. I can play any kind of annoying guard passing game, choking game, darse choke game. We can cover that real quick. Um, if I get this arm through and I have, sorry, not that one, this one, just my thumb comes through, I can grab my sleeve, like any Ezekiel with the arm in, I just leave my arm open and I'm catching that sleeve. Boom. I walk up, make a grip, and I can drop my shoulder on him and he'll choke. I'm choking with this part of my knee. Okay? Now let's go back to the, let's go back to the side switching. Now because Luba wants to constantly keep pressure with my knee with his abs, I want to get my hip on this side of his hip. I won't push down this side of his hip. And the other thing I want is I want his knees to stay behind my groin. So I pass his knees over and I end up in mount. Look out, three quarter mount. Okay, so I end up like this. If I'm here and his knee comes in front, like if his knees are up, over me, like his knees are up and I switch past this way so that my shin is now, or my knee is now in front of his knees and not above his hips. And it's good and easy to compress down here, the nice control of weight on his hips. I can block, I can actually hold the collar if I want and block to compress his legs. I can hold his elbow. If I catch any moment where his elbow's away from his ribs, I can always shoot Ezekiel chokes. But the main thing with this type of knee movement is I can windshield wipe his legs. So I can just hold him and hook his legs. And then I can start to pass. Right, so whether I'm coming this way or on the shelf or whatever the heck way you like to pass. So this is all having to do with his knee either being in front at this moment, right? So this means I'm going to windshield wipe pass when I get here. Some people will call this smash passing. I hook his legs and I'm, I'm passing, right? So if I keep the check of his knee down and I can guide it to the other side, it makes for the three-quarter mount. So now I'm here. If I go for the cross face like this, smashing his face, this gets Levi to push my arm off his face real, bit, real good, and both of our arms are now in opposite directions. The main thing that I want to do from here, push my arm up there, is that my hands need to switch direction. So I'm going to start to move down here by his hips. I could, option one, just sit back. Notice there goes the lazy arm again. Already. I could just sit back, pulling his hips, get those calves, boom, tap the daylights out of there. I lay this arm over, super easy, twist version, back control happen easier. I could be here, and it have, and when I get my opponent's fit, oh, he pushes off. I still have to rotate with my knee and my hands. Look, boom, this allows me to shoulder roll with my hands going to one more body. I'm already making foot contact, so it pushes him. Okay, now let's talk about this. This foot not only pushes this leg, but it staples it to the floor. 
and the bottom of my foot will be on the ground. This tilts him. In the Saints, he's stuck up on my hip. If you like fighting for the gi, you can. This way. I'll start to fight for the gi like this if you want. If I want to start to sit up, Levi, like he's going to half guard. Right? So we can start this, all the way up, Levi. All the way up. Like we can start this fight to maintain on his back, or he can just lay with the lazy arm. He can sit to guard, and I'll always follow him. Pinning my legs to the ground.